Okay guys, so if you'd like to make YouTube videos, as I obviously do, then this new feature will be excellent for you. And it is the YouTube Video Editor. So guys, now you can go ahead and have all of your videos that you have on YouTube. You can now edit them seamlessly on the site itself. So it's really, guys, with this, it's feasible to go ahead and instead of, you know, editing a bunch of stuff before you get it, um, especially if you have a slower computer. I know video edi editing can be really, really bad. So, guys, all you have to do is just upload your videos to the site, and you can do, you know, any kind of videos you want. You can mix and match the uh, videos. And then, you guys, you go ahead and use the YouTube video editor, put them all together, and you'll be good to go. Now, guys, before we begin, I will note it's not a super in-depth editor. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's good for just cutting and pasting and adding some music to it. But beyond that, you're not going to be able to be doing a lot of your know, really in-depth in stuff. So you don't be throwing away Sony Vegas or anything yet. So guys, let's go ahead and just start. So as you can see here, um, the video editor is pretty basic. Um, all of your videos will be automatically added, or well, most of them. I've got more videos than that, but hopefully yours is in the first, you know, 15, 20 videos they show. So guys, let's go ahead and just make a video. So guys, I have two videos I'm going to combine today. I've got one, which is about the Xbox 360's uh, Connect. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in down here to the timeline. And then go ahead and do the video that I made after it came out, explaining everything about it. So go ahead and drop this one down. So guys, now I have my two videos. Um, I will note, guys, even if you have an older account that can put videos up longer than 10 minutes, or you are a partner, you can't actually do it in the video editor. So let's go ahead and like add like 11 minute video. And as you can see, guys, total duration is too long. Remove or shorten a video clip. So not a big deal. Just keep your videos short under 10 minutes. So guys, we have these two videos, but I don't want to just do put two videos together. I want to go ahead and edit them. So we'll go ahead and just click the uh, scissors, and we're going to open it up. So, guys, the video editing is actually pretty smooth. Um, you can actually pan pretty much anywhere you want, and it goes really well. Normally it does. <laughs> it's a little bit laggy here, but it got. It's not like you're having to wait for a whole video to buffer or anything. You can pretty much skip around, and it will load it up pretty smoothly. As you can see, guys, the quality's uh, not very high, but it's not a big deal. It's just for the preview. So let's go ahead and back up. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go to. Uh, where is this? Uh, I'm gonna keep skimming along here until I find it. Um, let's point here. It doesn't really matter. This is just a test. So we're at 31 seconds. So now we come down here and let's grab this trim handle and drag it to about 31 seconds. So uh, right about that looks good. So guys, this is where our video will begin. So now let's go ahead and uh, say we want to end it at 38 seconds. Let's say we just want to use a small clip from this video. So we just drag the second handle, drag it back to right there. That looks good. So guys, now we're going to be we're getting rid of all this video except seven seconds. So that's no, no big deal. So now we have seven seconds. Now let's come to the second video clip. And uh, of course, in the first one, we already talked about a lot of the stuff that we talked in the second. So let's go ahead and just scrub all the beginning out till right here. Okay, so that looks good. And let's leave the rest of the video in. Okay? So guys, now you can come over here to this preview window and go ahead and hit play. So give it just a moment. And that's going to show the first few seconds of the first video. And then in just a second, there we go. So guys, now it will go ahead and do the second one. Now guys, it doesn't feature any, you know, really in-depth, you know, like uh, transitions or anything like that. But, for, you know, for home movies and for basic stuff, it's pretty decent. So guys, now we have our rough video. But let's say we want to spice it up a little bit. Let's say we want to add some music. So guys, you can go ahead and add any music that is in the audio swap. So all you have to do is come up to the audio tab. And you can go through the pretty decent library of audio swap music. So let's say we want this one. So just click it and drag it down to the audio. Now, guys, I will mention that by doing uh, using audio swap music, usually you will have ads on that video. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. And, of course, if you're a partner, you don't want to do this. But I'm not going to publish it, so it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and play it and see now. And, guys, so you actually can't hear it right now, but I'm, pump I'm pumping out some pretty good techno music instead of listening to my voice. <laughs> so, guys, it works really well. Um, once you're done with that, you can go ahead. Um, you, of course, you can swap audio as much as you want. And then just punch in the title of your new video. So, let's say it's just going to be new video. And then we can go ahead and hit publish. Then you'll be all set.
So guys, I figured that'd be a really helpful video for a lot of you guys. I know I'm going to probably start trying to use this. Of course, I use my normal video editor on my computer. But, you know, for something like this, you know, if you just need to cut a little bit out or for whatever reason, you know, the video is not right, this is a perfect way to do it. Especially, I mean, I could even see maybe editing home movies, um, you know, if you had a vacation trip or something. This could be pretty handy for you. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helps you out. If you're interested in learning more and actually testing it out, go ahead and hit the link in the description. You can go ahead and open it up and do the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.